Western Spirit Scottsdale's Museum of the West really has been in the works for more than 30 years. There were a group of uh, collectors and people who um, for many years tried to get a museum to open and it finally uh, was realized in January of 2015. We were one of the very first Smithsonian affiliates to receive that designation within the first year of our opening. Our mission is to educate and entertain and bring people together in a community setting, um, really from all over the world, people will visit to share with them information and education and stories about the American West. Our exhibitions range from historic materials from west of the Mississippi all the way up into Canada and parts of, of northern Mexico and Alaska, uh, Hawaii, from historic all the way up until contemporary. We have a permanent collection of Hopi pottery called Canvas of Clay and that exhibition was created in collaboration with a collector, Dr. Alan Cook. He's gifted us those pieces and we have remarkable work by Nampeo of Hano and her descendants and it's about seven generations of Hopi artists. We also have another show that's called the Abe Hayes Family Spirit of the West Collection and that collection was gifted to us a number of years ago by the Hayes family. It has over 3,000 pieces that include everything from uh, working cowboy gear and shops and very important uh, bowl and saddle pieces. We have the Ted and Christine Mulring Sculpture Garden and it features a number of really beautiful pieces of some by Cowboy Artists of America, John Coleman being one of them, Bill Nebaker is the most recent uh, bronze that we just added to the outdoor exhibition space. So we quite often rotate works of art in the sculpture garden. Upstairs we have some of the drawings that Paul Kelly did of the astronauts when they were getting ready to, to go to the moon in addition to his western paintings. And we have Courage and Crossroads and that exhibition has a number of western art pieces that range from real early Lewis and Clark uh, Lewis's pipe tomahawk, Charles Russell paintings. I'm often asked what, what I really love the most about the museum or some favorite aspect about it. And, and one, one element that comes to mind is, is just the, the building itself. It is a very unique building. People are often surprised by how modern it is. It was built by the architects from Studio Ma and it was created really on the basis of uh, sustainability. So when you visit, you're going to see some very unique features such as our weeping wall in the sculpture garden. And what happens with the weeping wall is condensation builds up on the air conditioning and it will flow down this, this large metal wall and it actually helps to water the plants. You will see cement walls that we call it chunky cement but there's these long vertical walls and with lines running through it uh, very dimensional and those are to mimic the ribs of a swirl cacti we offer guided tours three times a day and our guides will take you through the museum you can do specific exhibitions or you can do a highlights tour and go through the um, entire museum in about 45 minutes. Some people really enjoy that and prefer it. It, it kind of grounds them and gives them a, an idea of what's here and they can come back you know, later at another time. Uh, other people prefer to just tour on your own and explore and find, find yourself in the West is what we like to say.